Hello everybody, I want to show some typewriters. It seems they have been used for spare parts, but it isn't. These are demonstration models of typewriters. They were used to show how the mechanics of these typewriters worked. So if you ever wondered what happened inside the typewriters but you never dared to ask, this is a video for you. When I was young, I imagined that inside of the typewriter there were little elves moving the mechanisms. If you too have this idea, this video will demonstrate definitely that it's not true, or at least it's rather unlikely. Of course, these typewriters were not models that were sold to the public, but were used, for example, by sellers to demonstrate to technicians how the machine worked. This one is a Princess KSM, a model with three typing bars with its case. It's from the end of 1950s. This is a Klein Torpedo demo model from around 1960 with three buttons. This one is a Gossen Tippa, a model with one button to demonstrate the carriage train and ribbon transport with its case. It's a demo model from the end of 1940s. When you type a button, it moves the typing bar forward. You can see clearly the mechanism. There are some mechanical parts doing it and the spring return back the typing bar to the starting position. The typing bar, when moving forward, hit also this bar and the mechanism to advance the rhythm. And also advance the carriage. There are two teeth, you see. This blocking tooth and this advancing tooth, you see. The blocking tooth release the carriage and the other tooth permit the movement only of one space and again the carriage is blocked by the other tooth. This happens at every stroke of the typing bar in perfect sync. In fact, it's the spring contained in this wheel who moves the carriage via this plastic string. It's always in tension and it is kept blocked by this blocking tooth. This tooth, moving on this tooth bar, permits the carriage to move only a space at a time. There is the same mechanism with the backspace. While this blocking tooth holds the carriage stationary, Another tooth acts on the tooth bar and moves the carriage backwards. You see? This is the spacebar mechanism. The spring would pull the carriage on the left, but the tooth of the spacebar permit to move one space at a time when it gets pressed. It's the same movement of the two teeth we saw in the typing bar mechanism. This is what happens when you move the carriage with the release lever. When you press this lever, it happens that the tooth bar is moved out of contact with its teeth. So you move freely with the carriage back and forth. You see? These, of course, are the margins. And this is what happens when you use the button on the margin bypass. You see, the slider of the margin has a tooth on the bottom. So the carriage is blocked when the tooth of the margin hit this block. If you press the margin bypass button, the blocking is lowered and you can bypass the margin. You see? And this is what happens inside the typewriter when you are near to the margin and the bell ring. You see, it's a nice mechanism. Sorry, but the bell is out of tune. Here is what happens when you press the majuscule shift button. 
you see the carriage rise there is a shorter ribbon to see better the mechanism this is the automatic reversal of the ribbon when it ends in one side it reverses the direction you see you wouldn't say so many things happen when uh, you type a button in a typewriter. I hope I have convinced you that uh, there are no helps inside typewriters. But if uh, I didn't uh, succeed, I understand you. Also for me it's difficult to believe uh, there isn't helps inside the typewriters. If you like the inside of mechanical devices, you could like also this video on the inside of a uh, no calculator. Have a nice day.